preside over tonight's festivities. He'll be assisted by Ben Pilgrim, Justin Howard, and Elvis Osmanovich is the fourth official on the near touch line. Final instructions from each manager, Mikel Arteta and Thomas Tuchel. Some the starting lineups. First for Arsenal FC, Tom, and it will start in the back with Ramsdale. Yeah, have a good look at that Ramsdale who... And we're off, it's game on in Orlando. The Florida Cup. And they will use the long ball to start. Arsenal, a pair of two goal victories leading up to this one's outside. Chips the keeper. is definitely in play and so is the far post and it looks like they're lining up a shot Mendy like plastic man oh. we'll stay with Arsenal in an attacking posture again Martinelli circles around slips in through what a ball Hi Football Mania! Back again with us who are definitely here for you to share the latest football news. Okay, without waiting much time, let's start right away. Today there is news from Preseason Highlights Arsenal 4-0 Chelsea Arsenal managed to beat Chelsea in the Florida Cup Final at Camping World Stadium, Florida on Sunday July 24. 2022. The Gunners won 4-0. Arsenal performed quite well in the first half. They were able to lead by two goals through Gabriel Jesus and Martin Odegaard. Mikel Arteta doesn't want to huge his head after slaughter Chelsea. Arsenal appear very dominant against Chelsea. The Gunners were able to make Thomas Tuckle's team not move at all. Arsenal scored twice in the first half through Gabriel Jesus and Martin Odegaard. Yuka Osaka and Albert Sambiola Koenga then added to the Gunners' lead in the second half. With this result, Arsenal have managed to pack four wins in a row in pre-season matches. Previously, the Gunners successfully beat Nuremberg, Everton and Orlando City. Arsenal Performance Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta, was very happy with the results they got against Chelsea. He is satisfied with the performance of his team in this match. As you can see, there are a lot of positives to take from this game, Arteta told the club's official website. The way we play, the intensity we show, the way we try to show who we are as a team. Just trial. However, the Spanish tactician did not want to be big-headed with this victory. He emphasized that the match against Chelsea this time was only a pre-season test. But at the same time, it's just a test match. Don't get carried away. Still a lot of PR. Arteta thinks there are still many things that must be improved by Arsenal.
However, at least this positive result is the beginning of positive momentum before undergoing the 2022-2023 Premier League season. We still have a lot to improve, and do better, he continued. But I think it's great to gain momentum, finish the tour in the right way, give pleasure to our fans and everyone who has contributed to making this tour happen. Now is the time to return to London, to focus and continue to make improvements and move forward. Man of the match Arsenal vs Chelsea, Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus deserves to be chosen as man of the match in the match Arsenal vs Chelsea in the 2022 Florida Cup the player really shines in this match. Gabriel Jesus was installed as a starter on the Arsenal front line. The former Manchester City player is really a threat to the Chelsea defence. Jesus really troubled the Chelsea defence with his movement. He also scored Arsenal's first goal in the 15th minute. Jesus beat Eduard Mandy with a chip kick after receiving a pass from Granit Zeka. This was his fourth goal in the Gunners' preseason game. Next game. Arsenal's preseason in the United States is over. However, the Gunners still have one game to play before fighting in the 2022-2023 Premier League. Arsenal will face La Liga side Sevilla in the Emirates Cup this match will take place at the Emirates Stadium on Saturday the 30th of July. Here is the latest news from Football Mania, the news also closes our meeting this time, stay tuned on the Football Mania YouTube channel, because we will present. The latest and most complete news about football, don't forget to click the like, comment, and subscribe buttons.